Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica from Yes For Us, and today is the very first grocery haul of 2021. Honestly, I've never bought so many vegetables in my entire life. I went to two different places. I went to TNT and also to uh, Shoppers because I had to mail a parcel. I just grabbed a couple of little essentials from there. How are you? So take a peek at all the goodies. Seriously, tons and tons of fruits and vegetables. And basically I went out for essentials and I came home with all of this. We have tons of protein in our freezer and so we don't need to stock up on that at all. It was mostly just the produce and I tried to buy like more vegetables that were hearty and would last a lot longer. So let's take a peek at what we got. These are the most expensive potatoes I've ever bought in my life. Six uh, bag of 10 pound potatoes for, for $6, which is pretty crazy to me. I did buy three bags of milk and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably end up freezing one bag of it and then using up the two within the three weeks or you know, depending on what we're doing, what we're baking, we might end up using all three bags here. Uh, and then the only really unhealthy thing we got were semi-sweet chocolate chips. I've been using these for baking, so I'm running low, so we figured we'd pop up on that. Plus, they were on sale. Got a head of Napa. This is such a versatile vegetable. You, I use it with um, like a can of cream of chicken soup, and it's so good, and it's really easy to make. You can put it on rice, and it's absolutely delicious. Carrots, these are like ginormous carrots. They are the loose ones. They end up being cheaper than if you buy the whole bag, which is weird, but yeah, that was the case there. A two pound bag was 250 and these were 99 cents a pound, so I did that. Um, I did two bunches of watercress. I've never cooked watercress before, but I think they're pretty tasty. I think you can just kind of blanch them real quick or you can put them in soup. Next, we have more vegetables. I bought two bags of these baby uh, gailan. So they're young gailan, uh, which is like a Chinese broccoli. They are really tasty. Usually we either just stir fry them or we end up just doing a quick blanch and adding some oyster sauce. I got some Fuji apples, which is Nelson's favorite apple. And then two things of eggs from Shoppers. Eggs were a lot cheaper at Shoppers than they were at TNT, which is a good thing. Um, but I know I missed the deal by one day. I don't know how to pick good oranges, guys. So if you guys have any tips on how to pick out good oranges, let me know. Do I look for dimply skin or not dimply skin? Bananas, because Nathaniel needs his bananas. I have two big bags of broccoli crowns here, only the crowns. We tend to like the crowns a lot more than just um, than the stock although the stocks can be also used if they're you know if it's more more economical to purchase it that way but with this time the the broccoli crumbs were on sale and if you need a tip on how to keep your broccoli fresh for for us I think it lasts like two weeks I will put a description link up here for you to enjoy. We have two bags of the glutinous rice flour. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, so I'm just gonna experiment and have some fun with it. And then we also have some rice sticks, vermicelli, 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 I don't know how you pronounce that, but I, I think it's vermicelli, I think it's just vermicelli. Vermicelli, vermicelli, I don't know, you guys tell me how you pronounce it. But these are dried, I don't know if I've ever used the dried, I think I might have used the dried variety once. It's it's good to have a different variety of different types of noodles. Speaking of noodles, another new box of noodles that we've got is this yetkami. This is one of Nelson's favorite staple food items to have. He makes this really simple sauce, literally dark soy sauce and butter. That's it. It is so good, not healthy, but so tasty. And we'll put that in the chair with dumplings. Yum. Uh, soya bean curd. This is the, I think it's called like the dry, it's not really dry, but it's definitely super firm. I like to dice them up super duper small in like little cubes and then do a stir fry with edamame beans. It is really yummy, really flavorful. They did say that this one itself is spicy according to my receipt, but not anywhere else. So I don't know if it's actually spicy. I guess we'll find out when we taste it. That's that. Has anyone ever freezed these? I've never tried to freeze these before and how they turn out. I know with regular tofu, it will change the texture a little bit, but I was, I'm curious to see how these would freeze. However, I don't want to do it right now because I don't go out grocery shopping very often. This was a great find. I'm so happy about this. This is the Chinese style lap chow with mixed with pork and chicken sausage. These are so super duper yummy. I did film a recipe um, that I will try to get done eventually for you guys and so easy made with 
this. This was finally on sale. I have not seen these on sale in months and months and months. So I did grab two packs of these. It does have a really great shelf life, so I can have these around for a while. Plus, the other bonus is that you don't need to put these into the fridge until after you open them. This, I always get these this squash mixed up. I don't know if it's fuzzy melon or I don't think it's winter melon. I think it's fuzzy melon, but it doesn't look very fuzzy, so I'm not quite sure. Anyways, it was in the clearance rack, so I figured, you know what, for a buck, let's experiment and be wild. Um, other things that we've been finding on the clearance rack, and our TNT uh, in our area has this like little clearance produce rack, and your mileage may vary for this, but for us, we have been able to score some really awesome deals. Like three weeks ago, Nelson got like all these the, um, these things of tomatoes, and it was such a great deal. And so this time around, I found peppers. So four peppers here, fairly large size for $1.99. Okay deal, not amazing, but hey, hey, I mean, they're really heavy, so it's good. Peppers have really gone up in price. I do want to try growing my own peppers maybe next summer. We'll see. Um, and then also, the other thing on the clearance rack was this pomelo from TNT. So pomelo, um, it's supposed to, I think it's supposed to like bring good luck and good fortune. Um, although this is the clearance one, so we're going to get discounted luck and fortune. I don't know. Anyways, this is like the honey, red honey pomelo. So Nathaniel loves pomelo. So I'm going to be enjoying this because only Nathaniel and I really eat this. What else do we have? Oh, we have two things of bread from shoppers who are not on sale. We just need bread. I am able to make my own bread, but sandwich bread, I still haven't... I don't know. It's My, my bread tends to dry out really quickly. I think it's because there's no preservatives in it. And... Um, so in the mornings, if I'm in a, in a rush and in a pinch, these are a lifesaver for sure. What else do we have? Chayote. Chayote is one of Ginevra's favorite squashes. Um, they have also really gone up in price. They were $1.98 a pound, which here, I think there's about two pounds here. Because it was just, a, yeah, there's probably two pounds? Two and a half pounds or so, which is actually a little pricey because at my, at my local no frills, uh, I can usually get them for a dollar each. Now, it's because they just, there was a case of COVID at, at my no frills. So I'm just being very cautious and not going there for just a little while. So that's why we bought some chote from there. These are Japanese sweet yams or sweet potatoes. Uh, can't really remember, but these were the most inexpensive ones, and Nathaniel likes to put these into his food, uh, and so that's really why I bought them. And then this here is a Savoy cabbage. This cabbage is really interesting, and I really like the texture of it. It's kind of curly, so I find it actually like a cross between a Napa and a cabbage. For this, what I like to do is like I like to chop it super fine. I'll do like a Korean bulgogi sauce, and then uh, mixed in with some dark soy sauce with some minced meat. So good and so easy. Or I'm gonna try to like saute it this time too. Now I'll try different recipes, but this was really good and it keeps for a really long time. Like I said, I did try to find. Some some more hearty vegetables so some of the vegetables i'm going to, have to use up first of course are the peppers the um the other one the watercress and probably the guy lawn those will probably be the first ones to go everything else will keep for a bit more time this is a i think this is pronounced yimica i made yimica fries with um, homemade guac so delicious it was actually really easy to make too nelson wasn't a big fan of the yimica fries that i made but i love them they were so delicious um but you can also cut these really really small and put them in a stir fry and they kind of like they kind of taste like crisp and a little sweet uh, but they co consistently have like, they keep their crispiness which is really nice final thing that I purchased was these um, organic roasted chestnuts these are delicious they were on sale and so that's why I bought these ones um, you can eat them just like this as a snack super duper yummy and I think it's also healthy and it's good for cholesterol too from what I understand but the other thing I like to do is I like to braise these with chicken and uh, Chinese mushrooms oh my god so good Super duper yum. And that is it, guys. So that is my entire grocery haul. I did not get insanely amazing deals. And I know I did spend a lot more than what I thought I would. All in all, I think I spent about $120 because it was $102 at TNT. And then at my Shoppers Drug Mart, I spent about $17 for the milk, um, the chocolate chips, the eggs, and the bread. So it's not bad. Hopefully this will last us for three weeks. And of course, I'm going to need to be 
uh, shopping my freezer and my pantry for all the spices, the other starches, and also all the protein. So that's it for this haul, guys. Hope everyone is well and had a fantastic holiday. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite memory from this holiday season that we just had. I know it was definitely very different than what we normally have, but hopefully you still had some time to just rest, relax, and recharge. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.